Sure, he's low-hanging fruit, but, you know, fruit. Just say fruit for no reason. Just stick out your chest and say fruit. I want to congratulate you on the fact that you're not forced to wear a burqa, thanks to, of course, feminists. Silly me. All this time, I thought it was because Islam has never been the rule of law here. That must have been what stopped slavery as well. I lost my virginity at age 14. Feminism is the advocacy of women's rights on the grounds of political, social, and economic equality to men. Catholic. Adjective. Broad or wide-ranging in tastes, interests, or the like. Having sympathies with all. Broad-minded. Liberal. Universal in extent. Involving all of interest to all. The definitions I use are part of the foundation of the English language. You'll argue for the dictionary definition of feminism, but I bet you won't argue for the dictionary definition of racism. I think most women are superior to men, but as I established in previous videos, a belief that a gender is superior does not equate to hypocrisy when a person is fighting for equal rights. If you have that kind of belief, you're not truly going to fight for what's equal. Your beliefs, your biases, will show through eventually. You, the person who's clearly battling against feminism, could very well be raped. And without feminism, the person who raped you would have even less of a chance of seeing any time in jail than he already does. A lot more people than those who call themselves feminists have fought for that. And on top of that, if you got pregnant, in a society without feminism, you would be forced to have that baby. And additionally, without feminism, you could also potentially be forced to marry the person who raped you. It's in Deuteronomy 22, 28-29, long before feminism had a foothold. This country was never a theocracy. But go ahead and pretend that it was, so you can pretend that feminism was the knight in shining armor. Thanks to feminism, you don't have to spend the rest of your life maritally shackled to the person who sexually violated you. It's because people say stupid shit like egalitarianism is better than feminism, even though it's basically the same thing. I suppose now you'll try to claim that gay rights and minority rights are all because of feminism. And the way you'll do this is to argue that any mindset in the past, no matter how far back, that believed in some sort of sense of intersectionality, whether the concepts of intersectionality were completely different than now, or the people believed in some sort of equality of some kind for anything or anyone, that that's actually a feminist kind of mindset by definition. And therefore, feminism can claim responsibility for anything good that has ever happened in the world. This is why the past is the present when it comes to feminism and the social justice warriors. Hmm, that kind of sounds like a band name, doesn't it? Up next, it's feminism and the social justice warriors on 97.90125, the hits. But using this type of definition of feminism, one could claim that feminism is the reason why any war that has ever happened throughout human history has come to a halt, besides everyone possibly being destroyed. Anyone pushing forth any sort of equality in the business world could be considered a feminist by this definition. With this new intersectional definition of feminism, anyone who believes in any type of communism is a feminist by definition. Anyone who's a socialist is a feminist by definition. Democrats are feminists by definition. And since this recategorization of our history is being done by feminist theory, then if you put on the lens of feminist theory through that pseudo soft science lens, you would see that everything that we have and everything that we have ever had, and everything that we will have, is all owed to feminism. And if you say anything against feminism, you are against anything good ever happening to humanity, or to anyone, or anything. Well, I guess if you include too many things, if you say it includes all forms of life, then that would be a form of feminism by itself, right? because, you know, everyone, equality. But you know, if you're not a feminist, 
You want misery and agony on everyone. The world needs to show respect to feminism at all times. And thanks to the recategorization of history and just about everything else by feminist theory, then by definition, Jesus was a feminist. And any Christian that actually follows the teachings of Jesus are actually feminists. All Buddhists are feminists by definition. All journalists are feminists by definition. All Muslims are feminists by definition. All Muslim terrorists are feminists by definition just for the simple fact that they like to terrorize people equally, to try to terrorize as many people equally as they can. Equality is a lovely thing, isn't it? So, Onision, do you pledge allegiance to the flag of feminism and gynocentrism and to the sociology paper for which it stands, never changing in black and white, one ideology under a flag of corporate logos, indivisible, with triggers and social justice for all?